What's up guys, my name is Tabiz and I'm coming to you today with another Division video. In this video we're going to be looking at a quick farming method that you can use to either get a lot of blue drops or purple drops depending on your level. Right now since I am only level 20 I'm only getting blues, however at higher levels I know you'll actually usually get a purple drop and possibly phoenix credits. Now what you want to do is travel to this very specific spot on your map between Hell's Kitchen and Hudson Yards. You can do that either by fast traveling here to Kerman Station and running over or you can fast travel from Dante's Run and travel over here. But this is super easy, it's very very quick and each time you do this it might take you 90 seconds. So basically what you do is as you can see on my map you start where I am and you run approximately halfway down 12th Avenue and you're gonna see three enemies. Two are gonna be guys with shields and axes and one is going to be one of the cleaners that uh, throws grenades at you. Two of them will be regular enemies and one will be an elite level enemy named Erskine. Now he's the only one you want to kill. Once you kill him immediately just turn around and run back to where you started. It's literally straight down straight back and you can get lots of drops very very quickly doing this. So let's go ahead and see how long it's going to take. This is a uh, minute 40 into the video already. Let's see how long it takes to get at least one drop and run back to where we were. Now this is super easy. Uh, people are looking for farming methods right now to get drops and especially for Phoenix coins a lot more easily, especially if they killed the boss uh, named Bullet King, who's a pretty good place to start. If you've killed Bullet King and all his cronies, then he won't spawn anymore. So you've got to look to, you know, other methods. Now as you can see I've got a couple things on screen already because I've already done this just to confirm. I got two drops there, two drops there, and down the street what looks to be two more drops. You see the guys there. One of them's in the back shooting, two of them have hatchets. One of those guys is Erskine. All you need to do pop a sniper rifle, get it going, hit him in the head, Oh sh shit, I kicked, I killed him. Totally didn't mean to. Now all you gotta do, ooh, I need to pick these up actually. So I've done this for less than 10 minutes and I have now gotten uh, four of these. So that's eight drops total. Okay, why didn't I pick that one up? We'll run back. Right to where we were. And then once you run back to where you were in Hell's Kitchen, it completely resets the encounter. And you can run back, kill Erskine again, run back, then run back to the encounter again, kill Erskine again, rinse and repeat as many times as you want, as long as you don't kill all the cronies. Now I did accidentally kill one, so hopefully this doesn't screw up the encounter. Now let's see. Ooh, what was that? I just heard a little noise. Don't know what that was. All right, even with picking everything up, that took just about two minutes. Go do it again. Doesn't take very long at all. Now, the only reason you really need to do this at higher levels is your farming drops. That's all you're doing. Usually these drops will come with a few Phoenix credits as well, and that's what you're really looking for. You don't care about the weapons or you know gear, whatever actually gets dropped. You care about the Phoenix credits. That's only when you're level 30. I'm not there yet, so I don't really care. For me, lots of blue drops. Wish they were purples, but they're not. I'll get there one day. Now this drop is active right now as of the date on this video, which is going to be the 20th of March. It could be patched by the time you see this video. I have no idea. But as you can see, all three are back. Kill Erskine. Oh, crap. Now this is all you have to worry about. Are these guys coming towards you? I've never had the red guy come first. Erskine's always been the first one. There we go. More drops. That's it. So in literally less than 10 minutes, I got 10 drops that I can use 
or sell or dismantle whatever doesn't matter it's quick it's easy it's very efficient this is very much akin to the loot cave from the first year of destiny where many of us including myself spent many 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 tireless hours standing in a field shooting into a cave farming mad drops on in grounds until Bungie fixed it then after they fix it we of course you know looked for other things but that's it guys it's quick it's easy it's super duper fast and that's all you've got to do kill one guy run away run back kill one guy run away rinse repeat profit now I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did give me a like and a subscribe and we'll see you out in the city